Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to do some material tests. We're gonna start off with 1 8 inch premium Baltic birch plywood. The plywood came off of Amazon, nothing special, just some cheap plywood. We're gonna go ahead and use that as our test material for this project. We're gonna click on laser tools. Go to material test. Inside material test, we're gonna change these numbers here. We're gonna do a 10 by 10 grid. That's 10 boxes by 10 boxes. Uh, speed, we're gonna start at 600 and go to 1000. Power, we're gonna start at 60%. Go to 100. We're gonna click on edit material settings. We're gonna make sure we're on line mode. Edit text. We're gonna make sure this doesn't overpower the engraving right here. 6,000 at 20 is fine for my engraving on a 40 watt laser. We will go ahead and preview it. Looks good. And frame it. As frame, go ahead and hit start and let it do its thing. All right, now that it's done, I'll go ahead and post the results. As you can see in this picture, just about cut out everything. Not sure why the recommended settings would be 100% at 850 when 100% at 1,000 or even 75% at 1,000 would cut. Go ahead and close this up for now, and we'll do our next piece of wood. All right, now we're gonna test eight millimeter bamboo. I have a template for that. I'll just go ahead and file, open it up. We're gonna use 300, 350, 400 for our speed, 90, 95, 100 for our power. Go ahead and home it, frame it up and we'll let it run. Show you the results when it's done.
All right. Now that it's done, let me post the picture, show you the results. You know, looking at it, I could actually push the 400 at 90% and 95% through if I really pushed on it. But we'll leave it the way it is. 350 at 95%. 350 at 90%. I mean, that's very good. You know how bamboo wood is. It's, it is what it is, but it cut right through it. Let's go ahead and do our next test. Starting with a new workspace, we're going to go ahead and do a quarter inch birch, laser tools, material test. We'll do 600 to 1,000. And we'll go 50% to 100%. We'll go ahead and frame it up. Now that it's framed up, close the lid. And click start. Show you the results when it's done. Alright, now that it's done, let's take a look. Just giving them light taps just to see what's going to fall through. So at 100%, we could do 867 millimeters per second. We want to drop it down to 95%. We could do 750 millimeters a second without issues. Okay, let's move on. All right, for this test, we're going to do 100% power at 250, 200, 150, 100 millimeters per minute. This is about 13 millimeter plywood. We'll give it a shot, see what happens, see what the machine could do. I'm gonna go ahead and home it. Turn the camera control on so you can see the piece of wood. Let's frame it out. All right, it framed out good. Everything looks good. Let's close the lid and get started. Be back to show you the results.
All right, this thing is done. Can't wait to see what the results are. Let's go ahead and open it up. Two hundred, one fifty, one hundred. Cut like butter. Two fifty just about made it through. This thing's a beast. Very impressive. Looking at about twelve and a half millimeters. I didn't have any 20 millimeter plywood sitting around, so I just took two pieces and I cut out to be 20 millimeter. And decided, you know, to stack them side by side and give it a shot and see what happens. Went ahead and focused it. After I got it focused, I went ahead and set the machine to do 25 millimeters a minute at 100% power. Oh, it's already right there. I'll show you the result. Uh, it's done. Go ahead and open it. As you can see, it didn't cut all the way through. It burned it a little bit on the one side, but that's probably because I'm cutting it on its side. And it's probably a couple millimeters short from 20 millimeter. We didn't even break it off. All right, guys, it's the next day. My um, brother-in-law had um, some three-quarter inch wood. I figured I'd give it a shot since the plywood failed. This seems to be a little bit of softer wood. Let's go ahead and update the overlay. Add a line through it. Go ahead and set our cuts to, we'll try 100 by 100, hit OK. Go ahead and home it. The lid is closed, start it. All right, it's done. We'll let it air out for a moment. Well, it cut right through it. Um, it's definitely softer wood, I guess, depending on what type of wood you have. I mean, I mean, you saw it. the three-quarter inch ply couldn't cut it. I went through this one without any problems.
just going to share my thoughts real fast. It's a great machine. Um, and the ventilation with the enclosure. I don't have a fume extractor. I have the tube going outside the window. It's pushing the smoke out very well. Um, got a faint little smell of wood burning in my office. But my office is small. I mean, it's only like 14 feet by 20 feet. When I was using the Falcon 2 22 watt, I had the cloth enclosure for it, and it and it smelled in the room. I mean, it really did smell like you know wood burning all the time. But this thing, this enclosure is very well, and I like the features it has. And like I said, that fan pushes that smoke out very fast, very well. If you guys liked my video, please subscribe. If you got opinions, share it. If you got questions, go ahead and ask. But I'm new to this, so I look forward to doing more videos. Thank you.